Thank you all for, for joining us this evening as part of the celebration of graduation, which is always an exciting time in the life of any college or university. And tonight we have um, some very special guests that we want to recognize and honor in advance of, of tomorrow. Uh, and we appreciate you coming and, and joining with us in celebrating uh, two very important people uh, in the life of the college. So I'm gonna talk a little bit uh, about um, Dr. Stuart Lacase, who is with us today. Um, and our board chair, Eves Bradley, is gonna talk a little bit uh, about Eric F. Farrell, um, who is also a staunch supporter of the college. Um, so, pre-graduation celebration. Little festivities, fun to get together, and in advance of cheering on our students tomorrow who will get their degrees. Um, this is a very special graduation for us because our founding and first president is with us, Stuart Lacase, and will be giving the commencement address in the afternoon tomorrow. And I just want to talk very, very briefly um, Stuart and the colleagues that he gathered around him in starting this college uh, is the whole philosophy of the college is really rooted in active citizenship and student-centered learning. Um, that was based on John Dewey's theory of education in applied theory uh, and all of also, Paula Frere's uh, philosophy of really democratizing education. So Stuart, in his living room with his friends and colleagues, started Burlington College in 1972. And it started as VICI, the Vermont Institute of Community Involvement. And that speaks, I think, to the foundation. The, the philosophy originally back in 72 was integrated learning, it was personal development, it was rooted in the community, it was lifelong learning, it was reflective practice. And if you look in the gallery, if you haven't had a chance to do so yet, we have <clears throat> three of the college's uh, pivotal mission statements. And if you look at those statements, you will see, I think, that the mission of the college, although the words change, the philosophy and foundation have not. And the faculty and staff and the students have carried that mission forward uh, from Stuart's original uh, concept and those uh, of his colleagues that helped him craft that out. Some of the important words, I think, of today's mission is that we're dedicated to guiding students. Um, faculty don't lecture. They don't prophesize. They guide. Um, and they guide students to become skillful practitioners who are reflective on how they put that theory into practice again, going back to John Dewey. They're lifelong learners, they're active citizens. And so this all came together in 72, and it's a proud, strong heritage from the living room to the campus where we are today. Tomorrow marks our 35th um, graduation and close to that, you know, magic year for the overall anniversary, you know, of the college. And today's faculty uh, and students and staff still believe in those words and in that mission. And I think that's tribute to Stuart's beginning. <coughs> Excuse me. So a little bit about Stuart. Came from an education family. His father was principal. His mother was an administrator. Um, at the Freiburg Academy. His sister founded Pine Ridge School for learning disabled uh, children, and his brother became a professor of physics at Bowdoin College. 
Stewart himself earned his undergraduate degree at Bowdoin and then went on for his PhD in English literature in, uh, at Columbia University. <coughs> Sorry. Um, supporting that, that work with teaching, as so many of us have done. Uh, and those teaching years were experimental years for him, so the story goes. He'll correct me if I'm wrong. Kind of, <coughs> excuse me, kind of figuring out what works. What's the pedagogy that actually, oh, thank you. Um, that actually engages students, that actually captures that engagement in active learning. Not sitting back, you know, taking notes and regurgitating the notes, but what engages them and what practice um, do they strive for. Um, Burlington College is a very unique college. It's a very special college, primarily because of those undergirding principles we have recently broadened our scope from focusing on the arts and the liberal arts uh, to our concept of a community and broadening out uh, and incorporating uh, some technical programs. But those programs are still founded on the same basic principles. Theory, applying the theory, thinking about that application, and becoming lifelong learners. So over the uh, 35 plus years, uh, those principles have been held true to, and on behalf of our current faculty and staff and students, um, and the students over those 35 years, I, I really extend to Stuart a deep appreciation for his founding and the establishment of those strong guiding principles for Burlington College. Um, so I ask you to join me in thanking Stuart. You want to say there, there has never been an academic who didn't have a few words. A <laughs> uh, <coughs> few is the operating uh, word, but um, <clears throat> I think Laurie, wherever she is there, uh, is the one that is responsible for all this because she was very careful not to let me see the program yesterday, so I did not see until just now that I had remarks. <laughs> today. So everything that I'm saying today uh, is totally off uh, the cuff and whatever I have to say uh, you'll have to excuse me because it, I haven't thought it through. Uh, but everything that uh, Carol was saying about me, most of it was reasonably accurate. Uh, but I think that uh, one thing that I would like to add to that is how in the growth of the college and its uh, being sustained over all of these years, uh, so many people have been involved in the process, and many of them are here tonight, which uh, really pleases me that you're here. Uh, every one of you I can tell stories about, but I will try maybe a few one-liners just to let you know some idea of who the people are that helped found this place. Starting with Suzanne Ferlin over here. Suzanne, aged 90 now, young and beautiful as ever, uh, introduced me to all sorts of people when I first came, uh, got me into the social circuit of Burlington, and helped the connections that went on to make the college possible. Uh, looking around, somewhere we have Ted Buxton back there. Ted was one of our early students, and Ted cost us, I think he knows this, cost us a couple of years of accreditation. <laughs> Did you know this? <laughs> what happened was that we were up for our uh, initial or full accreditation and uh, it was delayed and then we had another visit a couple of years later and it was delayed again. So I finally got very angry and uh, went down and had a talk with them and it was the chair of the commission who said, it's absolutely impossible that you, a college this small can't do what you're doing. And I said, how come? And he said, well, you have one student who got a degree in transpersonal psychology. <laughs> photography, photography. 
how can you possibly have uh, a division of photography? How can you possibly have a division of psychology? No way that you can have all of that and be an accredited institution with that few students. And it was all Ted's fault. <laughs> this, he wanted the degree, he wanted his degree to read transpersonal photography, and it literally, I think, held up <laughs> our accreditation for two years. <laughs> Gunnar and Sarah here. Uh, Gunnar was dean of students for uh, what I call the seven good years, being biblical about this. Uh, Gunnar left us for a higher calling after that. Uh, but when he first came up, I couldn't imagine anybody agreeing to come to Burlington College that was so struggling and might not make it to the next year. Uh, I tried to talk him out of it. He had a tenured position in New Jersey. And, uh, <coughs> uh, and uh, yet he came. And uh, it was the seven most wonderful years that we've had at Burlington College. Gunner. Joanne Stanfield just walked in. <laughs> uh, her husband, Bob, uh, who is with us tonight in spirit at least, uh, had a very quiet way of doing things for the college, one of which was to write the uh, speech that Laddie Coor gave on a, the when we were accredited, when we finally got our full accreditation. We held it back, somehow managed to keep it secret until the very last minute of our 10th anniversary celebration, which was held in the uh, church at the head of Church Street. And then he announced that Burlington College was fully accredited. And Laddie gave the speech and included the information <coughs> that Bob, I am sure, wrote uh, that when UVM was first started, it took them seven years before they had any students. <laughs> we had them on the very first day. <laughs> John Owen is here somewhere. John, uh, director of admissions for a while, very active, went out, got students, did a wonderful job, left early, and then I'll never forgive him for that. <laughs> Margie Williams LeMay, sitting right here in front, student, friend, uh, assistant. When uh, I was at one point in my career in the <coughs> college was uh, head of the Vermont Higher Education Council, which includes the, uh, all of the public and independent colleges in the, in the state. And uh, we had a crisis of uh, leadership there. There was nobody to run the thing. And uh, so for about a year and a half, Margie took over and ran the higher education community all by herself. <laughs> uh, let's see. We have Don Vickers back there. You can barely see him. That He's standing back there. <laughs> he was head of VSAC for many years. Only for one reason, that uh, when his predecessor left, he asked me for a letter of recommendation. And I wrote such a glowing one that they couldn't possibly <laughs> turn him down. And uh, he was uh, made head of, uh, of VSAC and returned the offer many times over, over the years, helping us through some very difficult times. Uh, let's see. Who am I missing here? I think I've hit most of the people that were on my list. There were several others who didn't come, and since they didn't show up, they're not going to get praised tonight. <laughs> but thank you. What I wanted to say mainly was all of these people helped make this college what it is today. Thank all of them. Thank you, Stuart. Um, and so next, we, we want to recognize um, an individual who is a staunch member of the community here in Burlington, has been a friend of the college for quite a while. Um, I've only known him since I came last December, January. Um, I thought we were kindred spirits until I found out he's not Irish. <laughs> you know, so, but we're still kindred spirits. Um, so with, uh, with, 
with that said, I'm going to ask uh, Eves Bradley to talk a little bit about uh, Eric Farrell and um, his life in the community and what he's done for Burlington College. He's okay to be brief. <laughs> I will be brief. Uh, uh, like uh, uh, Stuart, I'm, uh, I was told uh, that I would be speaking uh, not too long ago, so I don't have any prepared remarks either. Um, unlike Stuart, I, I typically have a tendency not to prepare and go through things, so I think I may be okay. And what I'm going to seize on is what Carol said, um, speaking to uh, the Stuart's principals when he founded the college. And what I'm going to fall back on is responsible citizenship. And so tonight um, we are presenting, or tomorrow we'll be presenting an honorary degree to my friend Eric Farrell. And I think that he epitomizes what I would call responsible citizenship in and around Burlington, Vermont. And he is someone that, that I must say I'm, I'm proud to know not only as a colleague, uh, but as a friend. Um, Eric is a Burlington native and, and comes from a large family. I don't know how many of them there are. All I know is that there are a lot of them. <laughs> the little that I know about his past is that he is a St. Michael's alumni and that he was an altar boy. And I'm not sure that those two go together. And if they do, I'm not sure what's happened since. But what I can say is this, that, that when... I became involved with the college and we then began uh, further down the road the discussion of the fact that we might need to take on someone to acquire a portion of the land. What I suggested to the college that we find was not a developer but a partner. And I think that the, the Eric Farrell that I know and have come to know is the epitome of what one would call a community partner and particularly a partner to Burlington College. He, like many of us, myself included, became involved with this institution and it became infectious. Infectious not only because of its mission but because of its faculty and staff and particularly because of its students and the very nature of who they are who they become and what their potential is. And that's primarily due to the vision that Stuart had when he founded this. But Eric has fallen in love with it, just like I have. And he has continually been there for the college, thought of the college, been creative about the college, quite literally founded and, and created his own program as to how to work with the college. So he truly has been what we wanted, a, a, a real partner, someone who is there for us in time of need, someone who we can turn to and ask for advice, someone who will always be there for us and will respond to us and think about us. And I can't imagine a more worthy person to be receiving this degree, particularly with everything that he's done for us over the course of the last few years. So I'm very proud to introduce my friend Eric Farrell. I will let you know that he will be brief, as he is not fond of the limelight, which is another, frankly, um, remarkable thing about him, because this man has a lot that he could tell about himself. He chooses not to. He's accomplished a great many things in the community. He chooses not to speak of those. And I personally will tell you I have enormous respect for people who speak softly but carry a big stick, and he's one of them. So, Eric, thank you. So I just met you, Stuart, tonight, and we share in the a common deception in that I didn't know I had to say anything tonight. <laughs> so Carol and, uh, and Coralie were pretty good at that. They did not show me this. They just said, oh, a nice little reception. Come on, and we'll have a couple of drinks and some food and, you know, get ready for tomorrow. Um, I do have a complaint, however. <laughs> If you had started the college seven years earlier, I would have been a candidate. And because uh, this, uh, what this college does is perfect for the way I, you know, would choose to learn. And I've told people many times over the years that I am <coughs> proudly the only native Vermonter who was denied admission at UVM in 1965. <laughs> 
There may have been others, but I'm sure that I was one of them. And I did ask them why that, why would they do that to me? And they suggested that I take a peek at my transcript <laughs> from high school. So I went to St. Michael's, graduated in 69. So I missed you by, by seven years. Um, the, um, not to be political, but I'm, I'm sure we all know the, the term feeling the burn. We all, I don't know which political persuasion you all have. If, if he's the nominee, I'll vote for him. Um, so three, four years ago, when Eves called me and said, would you like to throw your hat in the ring at, at the college? I said, well, okay, I, I, can, I, I knew of Burlington College, didn't know much about it. And I said, well, uh, yeah, I'll throw my hat in the ring. And, and he's correct um, that, that I really did see it early on as a partnership and not, you know, we had to sit on the same side of the table. That's the only way it was going to work. And, um, and it didn't take me long to feel the burn. The Burlington College burn, you know, so infectious is the right word. Actually, I was going to use that word until Eve stole it from me. So you, you get hooked on the place. I mean, you, you see the students who enjoy creating their own path. And uh, I didn't, you know, I, was, I went to a more traditional school. And this would have been ideal for me because I was very much a non-traditional student. I did escape with a degree, but um, I've learned a lot more. I've learned most of what I know since I graduated. They didn't teach me anything there that was useful. <laughs> no offense to St. Michael's College. And it's not the same school today than it was when I was there, like, whatever, 40, 45 years ago. So um, I enjoy my relationship with Burlington College. Uh, it's, uh, um, it's been a bumpy ride. Um, in, in, in the press. Um, it's not been a bumpy ride in terms of our relationship. I just met Carol, but even before Carol, back to Christine, um, the, the outside influences were bumpy. The inside influences were always very collegiate. Is that the right word? Um, so um, um, I think it's a great institution. Um, I've said that I would do anything that, um, that I could to help the college, uh, with the only provision being that it's uh, not too high risk a real estate venture for me, because I am basically a real estate junkie. But I think there, I thought there was a lot of uh, opportunity for, you know, for common ground, that we could, we could both get to where we wanted to go together without, uh, you know, compete, without having competing interests. And uh, Eves has, has encouraged me every step of the way, and, and Carol embraced me. She even gave me a bottle of tequila that we haven't drank yet. I told her I wouldn't you drink it. Many partners on that bottle. <laughs> yeah, no. I told her that I would. University for that. Yeah, I told her that I wouldn't drink it without her. Uh, so it's sitting in the cupboard. It's been there for a few months. So um, anyway, I'm very surprised uh, to be honored in this way. I, I, I do appreciate it. I like the work that I do. Um, and I um, really have come to love this college. And I uh, appreciate and enjoy the work that it does. Um, and so, thank you. A formal part of our event this evening. Uh, it is an extreme pleasure, I think, to have both Stuart and Eric here to be honored and celebrated. So. Let's celebrate. So we'll go back outside, have some food, have some wine or beer or whatever your, whatever your drink is, and let's just enjoy the camaraderie. And the celebration will go on tomorrow. Thank you, Thank you all for coming.